gator season kicks into high gear. Hunters return to the most gator-infested place in the bayou. Look at all of them. I would describe Cow Island as Jurassic Park. They have no real threat out there. Got him. Swampers use unusual bait to catch a killer. He's got an appetite for chickens, and they could definitely upgrade the children in a matter of seconds. Oh, my god! Some battle nature. I can't believe you. The lily's moving, knocking your bait down, and there ain't nothing on the hook. Like a slap in your face. While others finally let loose. Where you going? I'm about to throw you out of this boat. Another beautiful day begins on the bayou in southern Louisiana. Just outside of Violet, Ronnie Adams and his deckhand Ashley Deadeye Jones are responding to a nuisance call Ronnie received from his old friend Herman. A massive gator has raided his kid's chicken coop, and Herman is afraid he's still in the area. Y'all come see this. Ooh! Look at the feathers. Yeah. Tore the whole coop up. Unbelievable, It was bro. here, Ronnie. Unbelievable. The kennel for the chickens. He grabbed that son of a gun and drug it the whole way yeah. over there, huh? For Herman, the problem goes way beyond the loss of a few chickens. I worry about the kids swimming, too. You're younger to see all the time. Was she six or seven now? She's eight now. I can't get over and that, she bro. She loves the chickens. She's over here talking to him, playing with him. If she would have been here when that gator come up, Boy, no telling what would have happened. You dang right. So I need to see about getting this thing out of here. There's other camps here. There's so many people and kids and families. I mean, it's scary, man. That's our goal for today is to catch this big chicken killer. Man, We're going to get him for I you, I appreciate my baby. it. Yeah. You bet, brother. Y'all be safe and all. Um, thank hey, y'all. We'll pass by once we get him so you can see him. Oh, that would be great. There's a big alligator out there. And right now, he's got an appetite for chickens, and they can definitely upgrade the dogs and even the children in a matter of seconds. And boy, my heart would be sunk if something happened to one of them babies of his. I mean, because Herman's a good friend of mine. I'm not giving up until that alligator, that chicken eater's in the boat, baby. Determined to snag this nuisance gator, Ronnie planned ahead and brought along some prize bait. Huh? Oh, my God, Ronnie. What's wrong with you? Well, we got to catch this big boy. I mean, he ate chicken, so why not use chickens? This ain't Herman's chickens. This is just the chickens I got from a supermarket. Gobble, gobble. I think it's cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck. Ronnie is always coming up with crazy ideas. This is just a chicken hanging there. It's disgusting. We'll know if the bait's up or down for sure. And no binoculars needed. None. On to the next one. <laughs> 103 miles west, off the Atchafalaya River, the king of the swamp prepares his troops for their annual mission to the very heart of alligator hunting, Cow Island Lake. By the time y'all get here, I got this thing going in circles. Couldn't figure out how to make it go straight. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ready? Let's do this. Put these canes down to keep the boat from sticking to the sand. This is going to help. Open water help. You know, Carl Island is in the middle of the swamps. So hard to get in and out of. A lot of hunters stay away from Carl Island. They don't want to go through all that trouble. We used to hunt Cow Island once every four or five years. Now we've been going back for the last four or five years in a row, and we always, always catch good. We never have a dry run when we come to this area, never. Here we are, baby. I'm ready. Look at all of them. This is the biggest alligator hatchery in the state of Louisiana, right here. Give me some tags so I can show you how to hatchery. 
Okay, you got eight there. Oh, I need more than that. You got eight out of 15. All right? Let's do it. With a limited number of tags for today, Troy only wants to snipe gators over 10 feet. Take your time. Make every shot count. We're going to hug the left bank here. Y'all hug the right bank. All right, let's go. Let's go to work. I would describe Cow Island as Jurassic Park. You know, those alligators know they have no, no real threat out there until we show up. We got a big one to our left, about 100 yards. That pole ready to stick it, Vicky. Over here, to the left. I got him. Nice, Alec. Hell yeah. yeah. Good job, Tony boy. Good job. Gotcha. Let him turn. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Ready? OK. This 10-foot beast weighs over 400 pounds and is a promising way to begin the hunt. One closer to tagging out. Two miles southeast in a Bayou Black Canal. Frenchy Crochet and G. Singleton start their day with an unwelcome surprise. Lilies have moved in overnight, knocking down their baits. Holy moly. I can't believe you. You're having nature take in a course with the lilies moving, knocking your bait down, and it gets very frustrating to see that you put all this effort and you approach this line, and there ain't nothing on the hook. That is a, uh, like a slap in your face. It's a bad situation. You seen uh, the trails going to the ponds, huh? G across the levees. Yeah, it look like all the big gators going in, going in the pond. They getting out of this. They can't maneuver like they want any lily pads. Now, I seeing trails that they're leaving throughout the night, walking with the grass all smashed down. And these trails going across the levees, going to the marsh. So I got to change up my strategy and head to the marsh where they hiding that from me. Got to head to the marsh with the secret weapon right here. To go in the marsh to set the lines, we need a mud boat. We need a smaller boat. So Frenchie come up with uh, Cinderella to, uh, to get to the big gators. Fortunately, Frenchie always has his shallow water boat called Cinderella standing by, ready for action. That's Cinderella playground right there, all that. Forty-seven miles northwest in Bayou Sorrel. Willie Edwards and his son are giddy this morning as they prepare to hunt one of their favorite honey holes, a special place they call dinosaur territory. <laughs> Fluffy on that nose. <laughs> dinosaur territory is number bulls back there. And we're going to go back there and see if we can't treble hook a couple and see what we got on lines. I put a couple extra hooks back there, knock down the population. Their annual trip to dinosaur territory has become a mid-season adventure where the boys can cut loose and have some fun for one day. Keep it going. We got hooks to run. Hate to have to hurt you this morning. Well, put that in a kind of choke hole on your ass, boy. Watch it, watch it. Where you going? Where you going? I'm about to throw you out this boat. You going with me? What you going to do? We make the day go by faster by joking around or cutting up or wrestling in the boat. And I mean, I love him to death, but every now and then I gotta show him who's boss. Where you going? Uh, you gonna stop? We got hooks to run. Sit back down. We got hooks to run. They go to the lake. <laughs> they go to the lake. 
<laughs> Lines down. Yeah, I got something down here. Look like it might have something on it. Seen that rope tighten up. I feel him pulling it. Oh, Lord. Watch that thing boy on your knee. Have this one tail gone. He might be five foot. All he does is crawl around. He ain't got no go-go or nothing. Look. Big old alligator like that. Tail gone. He bite though. Watch him, Willie. Watch him. Help you, son. I'm gonna help you. Grab that side and we're gonna come up with more with you. Ready? He would have been nine and a half ten. Oh, he'd been ten foot. This eight footer with only half a tail takes money right out of Willie's pocket. But the boys aren't discouraged. You feel a little spunk in his boy? Uh-uh, I'm good to go. No, I mean, we can get on that dump right there. I, don't, I hate Knock to put... Knock the persimmons out of that tree right there with your ass. I hate to put grass stains <laughs> on you. <laughs> yes, indeed. Ninety-four miles east, after responding to a nuisance call from his friend Herman, Ronnie and Ashley are searching for a chicken-killing marauder that threatens the area. I feel like he's in this area. It's real close to his house. We're going to hunt it hard until we pull his big ass out of here. Yep. The size and the way the alligator that destroyed this coop is going to be massive. I mean, just the girth should be just blown away. But I got a feeling this sucker's going to be a big, jacked-up hammer. Right here to the left. See the cane with no string? See anything, Che? Not yet. I see bubbles right there, so something's, uh, something's obviously on, on it. It feels heavy? Very heavy. Huh? Yep. Let me feel. Oh, get that gun. Get that gun, Che. Get that gun. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh, girl, it's a good one, boy. Come to Papa, baby. Woo! Side of Violet. Man, he got some fight, huh? Ronnie and Ashley battle a feisty beast. Ready? Watch him, oh. girl! Bring him around here. Oh, he's mad. Hold on to him. Pop his ass, Chase. Give me some of that, Che. Huh? Good, Good job. job, my baby. Yes, indeed. Ronnie's happy to have this eight-footer in the boat. Oh, what a gator, babe. But he knows it's too small to be their marauding nuisance. That ain't him. He's a big gator, but look how skinny he I is. I know. That's what I was just noticing. He, yeah, he definitely ain't been eating on them chickens, and I'm going to tell you, they got so many gators so overrun with them, Che, they starving in here, babe. Back on Cow Island Lake, Jacob and Don are trying to do their part to hit Troy's quota of sniping 15 gators. Unlike last season, there's no official competition, but it doesn't stop Jacob from wanting to one-up his old man. Two of them up right in front of you. One on the right looks the biggest. Going down, went down, went down. It's always nice to, to catch more than my dad, and, and it's funny to watch him. The days where he knows you have more or you have bigger ones than him, he's real, real quiet, and that don't happen often. Right up there, set big cypress, right up there, right up there. He's wanting to go down. Got him. Oh, 
Oh, look at look the hallway film right there. What? The old film. Oh, I see it now. Still coming up right now. Hey, he is. You got him? Yep. Yeah. Having somebody to beat. He's a good one. What I'm talking about, Chief. One, two, three. Ah! Gotta roll him. That way at the back end, I'll swing around. Roll him? Yeah. Damn it, he's fighting us. That's all right, big son. All right. This massive 12 foot, 550 pound beast is just what Jacob was hoping for and proves once again that Cow Island is chock full of giant gators. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn, what a gator. It's as good as it gets there. I mean, there's big alligators, open water. You know, you can relax and shoot big bull alligators all day long. Six tags left, my boy. Back east, nearby you black, Frenchie and G have arrived in the marsh where Frenchie thinks plenty of gators are hiding. He feels lucky to have his smaller boat to navigate the shallow waters. The water in the marsh is, in the duck ponds is a lot shallower than everything else where the big alligator going at. Cinderella to uh, operate is an air cool engine I got in the back of it. They don't have a water pump and everything, so I don't have no overheating problem going to the lilies in the mud. You know, I could run in uh, three inches of water. They look like you. Let's see. Oh, I got bubbles. We might have them, yeah. That's a big gator, boy. Look at that here. Look at the busted jump. You got him, Frenchie. Boom! We knocked it out the park. Boom! We knocked. We knocked it out the park. We got it, huh, G? That's it. Get this boy to the market. Okay, let me get my meat hook here. Got it. When uh, we put him in the boat and everything, I was almost like a kid for Christmas that uh, got the bicycle of my dream. Oh, yeah. Don't that feel good? Slow start, but. You think I have faith and patience. Fifty-two miles away, on Cow Island Lake, Troy and his team have pulled three giants out of the lake. But for Chase, having pickle on the boat is a new experience. Look right in front of the boat, Guyon. <laughs> How you ain't blew a gasket with that? All season long. She listens to me. Pickle and I kept switching back and forth the role of shooter. I know I had a lot more experience than Pickle in that department, but I don't want to hog the spotlight. I wanted her to learn and have what input I could on her being successful with it. <laughs> I hate you. Come on, you weird. Put the gun, put the end of the barrel, pass the end of the boat. Oh, yeah. Hey. Good hey. shot. Look at that. Good shot, B. Uh -huh. Good shot. I knew you could do it. Oh, on yeah. left arm. What, brother? Put me on the left arm. <laughs> you want to try to hook on him? Oh, there he is. There he is. No way, Jose. It's a big one. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's awesome. On the road. Ah. Oh, yeah, they don't want to. Oh, look at that. Try that girl, me. OK, on three. You ready? One, two, three. You got to come up. Gotta come up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Dude, 
got to roll him. That's a nice alligator. Okay, hold it, brother. Let me move this right quick. Hold it. Okay. All right, let him go. I'm going. Good job. That's how you shoot an alligator. Huh? <laughs> Stop! She's feisty and she's a firecracker, but she's fun. She's definitely a good sport about it, and, and she uh, she definitely listened to what I had to say. I enjoyed it. Pee wee got a big one. Pee wee got a big one. With massive gators beginning to pile up, the king of the swamp yeah. is enjoying himself. Yeah. I want to see y'all do the alligator shuffle up down there. Oh, no, you don't want to see me do that. I'm so pumped up, I dude, I could you. do it. It goes first. No. He's like jumping overboard. <laughs> <laughs> Back east, outside Violet, while still loading the boat with smaller gators, Ronnie and Ashley haven't found the chicken-killing monster, and they're worried about the safety of Herman's children. That's the first time I ever heard him that nervous. I mean, I sympathize for him just because I have kids, too. I wouldn't want a big gator hanging out where they're right, swimming and I hanging out. I agree with you. You got younger kids and, uh... Yeah, perfect snack size I'm for a gator. I'm telling you, man, and I, you, so you know how the boy's feeling. You yeah. know, just put yourself in his shoes. Just being a mom myself, I definitely want to kill this gator. I don't want him swimming around with these kids, especially seeing how brave he is, I mean, and the damage that he can cause. See this line right here, Che? Yeah. Okay, so Herman's camped right there. I mean, right there. You see it? Yeah, I see the line. Let's run up under the boat now. Oh, I see something moving over here. Come on, be something big here. Get the gun. He feels heavy, Ashley. Come on, be a big boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch him, girl. She. Come on, Ashley. Get him, baby. Get the shot. Hold right. him up here. Yo, right. no, Shane. That's something. Got some giddy up. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo. Hold him. I'm trying to, Shane. All right, kill that son of a gun as soon as you get a shot on him. Hit him right there, Chuck. Had a girl. Bold, didn't he? Good job, Chuck. Chuck, this one's got a little size to him, but this still ain't the chicken eater. You got one big monster that's eating all the chickens. That's the boy I'm really hunting. Yeah, in between, I'll take the smaller ones, but I'm looking for the big boy. Hey, ask Grammy me one of them chickens, Jay. So I'm baiting in between camps. Anywhere I feel like I could put a line with a whole chicken and get this big boy, we putting it down. Oh, this poor chicken. Oh, yeah, watch them spurs. Them spurs will get you every time. Oh, this is a tough chicken, Jay. Whew. Oh, that's perfect. Ugh. That is absolutely perfect. Back in the Edwards honey hole they called dinosaur territory, with six average-sized gators already in the boat, Willie and Little Willie keep up the smack talk. Keep your hands to yourself, Willie. You can't hurt that. Keep your hands to yourself. Well, you get slapped in the mouth. Well, you'd been out the back of the boat. Huh. It wouldn't even hurt it. You, you think? Me and my dad, we got a relationship like no other. I mean, the way we bond and everything, nobody ever understand it. We like to play, fight, and everything, and that, that's just how we show our love towards each other. We got one right here. It's over there. He's up beneath the water. See, there's a rope going way over there? Yeah. Pull it to it. Oh, a big one. Big one. Another bird. Pulling. Oh, watch it fall. Let that thing pull you over like that. It slips right there. Pulling up here. Watch your fingers. You can get his head up right there. I'll pop him right there. 
Pull him up. Yeah, Willie, well, I thought you said that was a monster. Yeah, the way I seen him, them, uh... I mean, he's a good gator, but, uh, ain't no monster. Well, I seen him flashing, I thought it was a monster. Yeah, we're gonna get you some glasses. Get, get my adrenaline pumping, huh? Gotta get you going somehow. Another average-sized gator is not what Willie usually catches in dinosaur territory, but he's got a theory as to why they're coming up short. See, you lied to me yesterday. Told me we're gonna catch bigger and better alligators today because you baited them. You're a Jonah. That's what you are. A Jonah. You know what a Jonah is? I know what a Jonah is. Bad That's... luck when you bring them in the boat. That's what you is, a Jonah. I think he got a bad luck rabbit foot in his pocket. And, uh... Yeah, we joke around about it all day and everything. He don't like me calling him a Jonah, but I mean, the alligators slack when they slack. You a Jonah. Nine miles west, Jacob and Don are doing their part to fill the Landry quota for the day. They helped him, man. Last year when we shot these gators in here, they were skinny, skinny, skinny. That water got real high. I think we got some gators from the river and all came yeah, in. Yeah, got enough to get some in here? Mm-hmm. There's one at noon, there's one at one o'clock, there's one at nine o'clock. They ought to call this thing Bull Island instead of Cow Island. I mean, that's all it is, a bunch of big bull gators. One o'clock. Right in front of you, Jay, got him. Boy, he's a big one. I see him. Got him? Yep. Hope that his head comes up. Hey, let me get in and help you. Coming up. Got him? Yes, sir. Gonna pull him straight across like that big one. You gotta get him on his belly. He ain't gonna come across. Ready? Oh, Ready? One, two, I think today's probably the best day we've ever had on Cow Island. Every gator we shot was over 10 foot long fat and healthy, and we didn't pass up small gators to shoot these gators. You know, Kyle Island always is a big payoff for us, and this year it was probably the best payoff for us. We slack off a little bit and let them try to shoot something? <laughs> God, I love Kyle Island. In a remote swamp near Bayou Black, after switching boats and hunting areas, Vrenchy and G are finally loading the boat with gators. The more doing way better than the body, huh? Yeah, versus uh, fighting lily pads. Old Cinderella put it in that secret hole where stretch can't make, huh, you? Shallow water. I use Cinderella at my shallow water boat. You know, a little bit more work and everything, but she brings me a bigger uh, average overall uh, foot alligator. Cinderella get me to the, that living room where stretch don't. Oh, yeah. Find down. Right there, it look like a crime here. We might have a little action here. Oh, yeah, look at the bubbles. That's a good sign. Ready, sir? Swamp jump open. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Aggressive. Oh. Here we talking. Shoot him. Oh, oh. Yelling. No, 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 cut, pop and strength, pop and strength. Ooh. 
This massive 550 pound giant is by far their biggest catch of the day. All right, you gonna hook up the gadget? Got him. Mm -mm. And I blew a fuse. Now we gotta go on bank and roll him on. This ain't gonna pick up. With their winch out of commission, their only option for loading a gator this size is to drag it closer to land. Everything ain't perfect one first go around. Now we gonna work on them. Back the old way, G. Oh. There you go. There you go. All right, G. Salt and pepper still on the mission. Yeah. <laughs> this is the first time this year break out the salt and pepper. And I use it only on trophy alligators. And it is uh, one of our celebrations that uh, as teamwork and having patience and being rewarded with this, me and G would cherish it the rest of our life. You did good, Frenchie. You did hey, good. Hey, and we are off. That's a pretty good boy. 52 miles away, back on Troy's boat, the team is close to tagging out in the area, and Pickle is soaking up the experience of hunting fabled Cow Island. Clutch shoot from both of them. I think me and Chase is a good team. I think uh, we were calling ourselves the A-team now, and we both are excellent marksmen, I would say, you know, and just to get a chance, the opportunity to shoot these massive alligators, it's a once-in-a-lifetime kind of thing. Kyle Island's something special. Let's go after this one. That's a big one. Another nice, another nice alligator, huh? Got him. Got him, baby. Good action. Hmm? Oh, I had it. This boat is so slimy. Boy. Ready? On three, ready? One, One two, two, three. Mm. All right. Is a hole you put in that thing? You broke his face. Mm -hmm. Right, Pee Wee. Hold on. Let's do our thing. Okay, man. Let's go. Good Big alligator. This final 11-foot beast completes a successful day on Cow Island Lake. What I'm talking about, dude, I feel like today has been a, a big success. We fit all our tags at Cow Island, and this place just never seems to let us down. Year after year after year, we never get let down over here. Hey, 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 hey. That's it, huh? Y'all know what this is, huh? Uh huh? Boatload alligators, the last tag, baby. Thanks to y'all good shoot. I don't know who killed the most. It looked like it was a tie to me. 103 miles east, Ronnie and Ashley are running the lines they baited with whole chickens near Herman's camp. We dedicated this whole day to fish this gator out until we catch him. I'm not giving up until that alligator, that chicken eater's in the boat, baby. The whole chicken right here, Che, it's gone. I see a couple feathers on the water. This could be him. Ooh, oh, look how yeah. big that big mother humper is, Che. Look at that weight. That is monstrous, girl. Feels like he's coming straight to yeah, me. Now we in business, girl. God, wait, this is a big one, girl. This is a monster, girl. Oh, my God. He's barely hooked in there and he's shredded. He's shredded, Che. Hold him. Come on, Woo, woo, Jeez, Come on, get it. Just shoot, shoot. Oh, my God. 
Quit panicking and just I'm crack not his ass. He's barely hooked. Come on, girl, get that shot on him. Yes! What a gainer, yeah. baby! <gasps> ooh, ooh. Ooh. That hook sure comes in handy. All right, you ready? Yep. One, two, three. Grab, grab one. Oh, can you grab that on his leg or the rope? This. OK. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. Oh. We got the chicken one, baby. This is the <laughs> chicken line. We caught him on the chicken, girl. Yes. Huh? Well, I told you the damn whole chickens were going to work, and you all disgusted out, I you know? I still am, but it worked. Woo! With this 11 and a half foot, 550 pound monster finally in the boat, Ronnie and Ashley make the short trip back to Herman's. I wanted Herman to see this alligator to let him know that he ain't have to worry about his children or his farm animals or anything anymore because we got the big boy that put the hurting on his chicken coop. Look What's at that, on? babe. We got him for you, oh, my man. Oh, you got him. Yeah, he ate his last He's chicken. Big, huh? Oh, a beast, bro. He's 11 plus, no doubt. And aggressive. Oh, aggressive, man. With the kids, they don't, they don't fear nothing. Right. And they swim here all the time. Well, tell your kids Good. we got him out of there, and now they can get back in the water. Oh, I know yeah, they're waiting, ready to. It's just a pleasure to help out a partner of mine. You know, the only downfall I wish I could I could bring back his chickens, but I can't, you know, because this dude done put a hurting on him. Need any eggs? Let me know. I've got you, baby. <laughs> I appreciate it, brother. You all take right, care, buddy. Herm. Bye. Nice to meet you. Y'all need anything, let me know. You nice to You bet, meet Herman. You. Thank you, my all boy. Right, Call me for anything. All right, buddy, same here. You bet. Meanwhile, in dinosaur territory, Willie continues messing with his son, blaming him for the boatload of average-sized gators. You a Jonah. I was trying my butt off. Daddy started calling me a Jonah. That means you bad luck. Oh, I ain't no Jonah. I ain't bad luck. I don't believe in bad luck. I promise, I promise, going up, up, up the bar. Get your hook out ready. And when you feel the first bump, son, snatch that thing. Right there. Oh, 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 oh. Let you slack in you. Don't hold him tight. Don't give him a little boy. That's a big one. You gotta hurry. Oh, oh, what an alligator. Oh, that's a what an alligator. Didn't think he was that big. Oh, yeah. I need the boat. He don't want to come up. Hold him right there. We're going to get this other treble hook and we'll pull his head up. This an alligator, son. This is a big one. Come on. Get him up there. Here he comes. Here he comes. Woo! That's a big one. Look what an alligator. He got to be 12 foot. Shove it down. What an alligator. Good Lord. Lemon, this massive 12 foot, 500 pound dinosaur finally satisfies Willie and has him reconsidering little Willie's nickname for the day. I called you Jonah. I'm gonna go ahead and take that back because I think you got a big enough one underneath your belt. He graduated. He catches a big one and he kind of surprised me a little bit where he caught him. And uh, I think I can take and lift that Jonah off his head and kind of get that off his back. As the boys head home, they celebrate a good day in dinosaur territory in a way only they can. Oh, put that on your ass, boy. <laughs> what you got? <laughs> they going to Larry. <laughs> Back in Pierre Park, to celebrate their successful day on Cow Island Lake, Troy has gathered the entire Landry clan to wrap up their annual day of family fun, a tradition Troy wouldn't skip for anything. <laughs> 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 
the more you go out your way to do things with your family, the closer the family's gonna be and the better the family's gonna be. I think that's what makes us unique. We work at staying close. This is a colorful motorbike. Please like it for me. I am five years old. I like it. I love it. Papa, I love it. Good job. What you put in here? That's some local venison. Yeah. Local deer, wild hog. Mm -hmm. We'll round them up, put them with some deer. Y'all mix it too? The hog and the deer all stew, that's what we do. You know, the Cajun culture all evolves around food, cooking and get together. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Smells good. I know. They're delicious. Y'all come. I'm going to cook enough for the whole family. And the whole family comes, and we cook, and it's usually always good. That one looks done. Check it out. But I don't know how much of the get together is for the food. I think the get together is for the family. Just figure you need a something to Aww, wipe your hands. Thank you. You're so sweet when we're not in the boat. Huh? It's not an accident that a lot of Cajun families like the Landry's are close together. We do things to make sure it stays that way. 